In this video, we're going to explore limiting decisions. We're going to show you what is a limiting decision. How does it stop you from making it happen? And finally, we're going to show you how to overcome your limiting decision. Okay, so now let's take a look at limiting decisions and understand what they are. Limiting decisions, as their name implies, are basically decisions that limit you from doing the things that you always wanted to do. They limit you from taking the step and making your dreams a reality. Limiting decisions are usually formed by previous experiences, like that from your childhood or teenager days, or from your family experiences, and so on and so forth. Examples of limiting decisions could be, I'm not good at public speaking. You have to work hard to be wealthy. Or, I'm scared of heights. Pause the video here and take some time out and list down your limiting decisions. Okay, now that you've done that exercise, if you haven't done it, just make sure that you do it now. Don't postpone it to later. Now, let's just take a look in how in detail how a limiting decision can stop you from making it happen. Let's say for example you have a limiting decision such as I do not have what it takes to make it happen or I'm not ready to make it happen yet. The mental attitude that we adapt from this is that we get this feeling of inadequacy or incompleteness. This then translates into the action that we do. This could be continuously striving to achieve things to fill the gap. This could be, for example, waiting to the next paper qualification or certificate or to the next promotion in the job to feel that now I'm ready to take the next step. Now, what results from these actions is our experience of continuously chasing after the next best thing to give that extra confidence in us to believe that now I'm ready to make it happen. These experiences then create a feedback loop in which our limiting decisions get stronger and stronger and the whole cycle happens again and again. Now, you see, you've seen in just um, a preview like a step-by-step -step process in which limiting decisions can finally limit you from making it happen. Now let's take a look at how we can overcome these limiting decisions. There are so many ways that we can do this and one effective way that we can overcome them is through introspection which is a three-step process. Let's take the earlier example of the limiting decision which is I do not have what it takes to make it happen or I'm not ready to make it happen yet and let's apply the process of introspection to overcome it. The first step is detection where you sit in a quiet spot and you can close your eyes if you may and you observe the thought as it arises. The key thing here is to observe any emotions that may arise along with the thought and not to react to those emotions. Just let them pass. The next step would be negation of this thought. We can do this by either shouting out stop every single time the thought and emotions arise or to observe the thoughts from afar and to watch them disintegrate finally. The final process of introspection involves substitution where we replace this thought with empowering emotions and affirmations. In this example, we can repeat with emotional intensity and affirmations such as I have all the resources I need within me to make it happen now. You can also visualize the end picture of how you would feel and the millions of people lives that you would have transformed and put a smile on. Visualize also how your body posture would be and connect to the emotions you would feel when you have made it happen. Again as before, this whole introspection process creates a feedback loop but this time a positive feedback loop which empowers you and moves you forward to make it happen. Now, let me share with you my experience with overcoming limiting decisions. When I was doing my PhD, I felt that there was something else better out there and wanted to do something which would give me more fulfillment and freedom to take holidays whenever I want and to do the things I always loved. But however, I did not have the courage to find out what it would be or even to pursue it. 
I just felt I was not ready to pursue my passion. I didn't use the process of introspection to overcome this limiting decision. I used to find a quiet spot in my house and sit down silently for about 30 minutes or longer on some days. Through deduction, I then observed the thought as it came along and any emotions that arose from it. I did not particularly use the stop technique to negate the thought, but just stood apart from the thought and watched it disintegrate. Especially after attending the Make It Happen workshop and discovering the infinite potential which lies within each one of us, I was able to substitute that limiting decision with this new regained inner confidence to make it happen now and not to wait any further. I realized that I have all the resources I need within me to make it happen. I was then able to use this new reference point again and again in the whole introspection process to help me overcome this limiting decision and step up to fulfill my life passion. Definitely do take some time to do this introspection process yourself. It is a very effective process but like everything else requires practice and guidance. If you do need any help on this, do call or email us. As we promised you earlier, we are here to do whatever it takes to make sure you make it happen. Let's now do a quick recap. We first looked at what a limiting decision is. Basically one that limits you from getting to where you want to be. We then looked in detail the process by which this limiting decision can stop you from making it happen. Next, we looked at how you can overcome this limiting decision through the introspection process and we also looked at my own personal experience and how the Make It Happen workshop helped me with overcoming this limiting decision. So that's all for this video. In our next video, we will show you how you can make it happen by planning your first steps to make it happen and to live a life of vibrance and passion. To the next video, live with passion and make it happen.